me in, so move it on over. Move it on over. Move it on over. Move it over, little dog, cause the big dog's moving in. She's changed the lock on our front door and my door key don't fit no more, so get it on over. Get it on over. Scoot it on over. Scoot it on over. Go. Wow. What's the trick of playing like Hank then? What, what's the what's the big deal? What was he doing that was unique? His songwriting, the power of it is so simple. Mm. Is that you know that, 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 that that's exactly the same chords that E, the A, the B7 are used in um, I'm So Lonesome Like a Cry, which I think is his most heartfelt ballad. The last verse goes like this: The silence of a falling star. Lights up a purple sky And as I wonder where you are I'm so lonesome I could cry And it's just so simple mm. um, in a way that I find eternally moving. Not when I sing it, but when I listen to him <laughs> sing it. Um, yeah, he was a master. Does playing with an instrument become an impediment to putting the character across, or is it part of the character? I found the, mu the music sections were the most energetic and the most infectious. There was huge freedom, in a way, in just selling the performance of the song itself. I mean, you know, you're a guitar player. It's nothing like this. That anyone who plays the guitar it has enormous power. Um, you know, music is the most immediately infectious art form, I think. Trans just goes straight across the stage. And um, it was really exciting, um, especially playing Lovesick Blues, because that was the one that when, they, when he first played that in Nashville, Amol Kilgore, his old friend, said, that's when the women stood up and threw their babies in the air. Because <laughs> the, the yodel, the way he yodeled was yeah. something that, that nobody had ever seen before. It's uh, three chords and the truth, that's what they say. <laughs> Blues music is. See the low home, got home, and I am the low home, so blue. For a man who could be quite, it seemed quite a joyful performer, he obviously had his demons. Yeah. And, and there's, I think there was a quote with somebody saying that his audience liked him because he let them tap into that darkness in their own lives, but yeah. through a pop medium. Yeah. I wondered if that was an actor's job as well, is to let us experience that kind of nastiness in a safe yeah, environment. Yeah, I, th I think so. We do have a fascination with artists who have, a, who are, who have a, a capacity to explore their own darkness and somehow transmit it through music or through writing or through acting. Um, because they have the courage to say something about the experience of being alive that is universal and, they, and, and it connects, you know. If you hear someone singing about a, a pain that you feel you know, then it makes you feel less alone mm. in the world. Are you one of these people that subscribe to the idea that things like alcohol uh, help creativity? I do think, actually, um, the, the artists who, who kind of found a way to be to have that to have the same freedom in a in a more sober context are the ones who actually make the most powerful work in the end. I always find it interesting that Hank Williams is seen as a kind of American folk legend, right? He's yeah. a, he's, and he's a cuddly figure almost to some people. Yeah. He had this incredibly rough, hard life. Yeah. And these songs are about pain and torment. People are sentimental about him because it's period, actually. It's quite a, in, in, in the history of America, the forties is quite a long time ago. Um, and there's something very raw and um, and unembellished about his sound. It's steel guitars and and uh, the culture he sings about is of being in the doghouse and um, and so I think perhaps people feel that that was a simpler time, but the, but the life he was living was real. He sang what he knew in the only way that he knew, and people loved it because it was true. That's, I think, what we're drawn to in all art, is authenticity in the end. Great. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Cheers. man. Thanks. Should we play ourselves out? Sure, why not? Well, I'm standing on the corner With a bunch
bucket in my hand I'm waiting on a woman that ain't got no man Cause my bucket's got a hole in it Yeah, my bucket's got a hole in it Yeah, my bucket's got a hole in it I can't buy 